Hello everyone. My name is Xiao Jingwen. Today I will present Martian ASIC Horizon based VR video transmission and catch using K shortest passes optimization. In the concurrent popular architecture, the MEC server is deployed near the base station where the user access for catching in the concurrent popular videos, thus significantly limiting the request latency of VR devices. To fully utilize the limited storage space to meet more user requests, it's an inevitable trend to collaborate with multiple MEC servers. Before further analysis, we need to know the VR video production process. The first step is shooting and stitching. The second step is mapping and encoding. The third step is transmission, and the last step is rendering. Many papers have studied the offloading the rendering task to the MEC server and later transmitting the rendered video to the VR device to reduce the overall latency. However, there are many problems with these optimizations. The first is the rendering process does not take much time, and the second is the decoding operation will take extra time, and last is the additional code the time may be higher than the rendering time saved. Overall, using the MEC server computing capacity to handle the rendering task does not improve the user's experience, but makes the problem more and more complicated. But we can use the MEC for the compute intensive tasks such as predicting user head motion to reduce the amount of the data transfer. Uh, we will talk about it later. There's one other thing we need to know. When a user watches a panorama video, VR video, the field of view of user usually accounts for only about 12.5% of the whole field of view. That means we don't need to transmit the entire VR video, only transmit the image within the user's FOV. The specific operation is that the Panoramic video after equirectangular projection is uh, spatially and uh, equidistantly divided into x uh, plus times y independently codable and decodable wholeness tail video fields. Because the users get shifting while watching the video, the request rate of the wholeness tail video fluctuates within time and uh, may be low at a certain time. If o if the wholeness tail video fails is a minimal catch unit, the MEC server's catch efficiency is low, so it can be split into equal sized tail video in time, which we call tail fails or tails. Now, let's talk about the request of the VR video. Some of the requests only occurs when the VR device detects the need to render a particular tail fail. In this case, it will result in a very short tolerance latency, uh, less than 20 milliseconds, and uh, the user experience will be poor. It's necessary to predict uh, and uh, catch the tail fails that the user may watch in advance, which request uh, the prediction of the user's head motion trajectory in the computer world. Even though the existing pure world uh, Prediction model has high accuracy. There are still cases in which the request VR frame is not requested in advance when the VR device is ready to render. In this case, if the entire tail fail belong to a missing video frame is requested, it's easy time it's easy to time out and cause the user feel the local screen lag. In order to solve this problem, Servers can extract the concurrent missing tail films for transmission instead of trans transmitting the whole the entire tail fields. In summary, head motion prediction and the remediation to deal with the prediction failure can be offloaded to the MEC server, allowing the VR device to focus on the VR decoding and the displaying. Based on the above analysis, we proposed a cooperative transmission network architecture and a reliable transmission process. The network architecture consists of 
uh, three parts: a remote content server and a 5G core network and a ME Corporation domain. The base station directly connected connected to the VR device is called the home MEC station, and the MEC server deployed near the home base station is called the home MEC server. Okay, when the user starts watching the video, the VR devices the VR device established a non connection with its home MEC server, detect the concurrent playback playback. Status of every screen rendering interval. If the、uh, VR playback is finished, the interacting process and and the VR device disconnects from its home MC server. Otherwise, the VR device performs the screen rendering operation. Similarly, send the user's information to its home MC server. The home MC server will render the cached status of the users within its service area. When the MC server receives an information packet from a VR device, it can judge whether the user is missing the render frames based on the FOV. Perform the、uh, remediation operation first if it is missing. Missing. Otherwise, perform the prediction prediction operation directly. To design an ideal caching algorithm, we need to analyze the latency involved in each possible request path. A subnet n different tiles have been requested in the entire MEC collaboration domain. A request R about tile n from a VR device has will have a data size size R. Um, BUR denotes the bandwidth between the user and the MEC server. BM denotes the Bandwidth between MEC servers. BDC denotes the bandwidth between MEC servers and the cloud server. TQ1 and TQ2 denotes the current delay before processing and sending on the MEC servers. The propagation delay of the filing communication process can be negligible because of the short distance. The communication delay between VR device and home MEC server can be described as the formulation. One, the communication delay between the home MEC server and the other MEC server can be described as a formulation two. The communication between the any、uh, MEC server and the data center can be described as the formulation three. Where TMDC denotes the communication delay between the home MEC server and the remote server. As shown above, the system of the equations can be used to estimate the time delay of both preference and the remediation requests. Now we discuss how the catch distribution of each tail fail affects the request delay. Let the request about tail n on MCM be R M N. We found that once any replica of tail n is in the collaboration domain, it generates a Global profit represented by the formulation four, because once a replica exists within the collaboration domain, the path of all requests of tail n shifts, and the request endpoint changes from the cloud server to the MEC server within the collaboration domain. This global fit can only be occurred once. Also. Tail n catched on a special MECM generates a local profit represented by the formulation five. Since all tail n requests within the server area of MEC server M are handled directly, inter-MEC server communications are limited. In our specific case, case the Catch distribution problem can be reformulated as the graph with a single source and a single sink, which is a DAG. S denotes the size of a tail fail. PM denotes the maximum number of the tail fails stored in MEC server M, where CM is the MEC server M storage capacity. HEIJD denotes the this, um. Parallel directed edges from the node I to node J. Edge、uh, E I J denotes there is only one directed edge from node I to node J. 
呃 C E I J T denotes the edge width. Let's talk about the detail of this graph. There are m parallel directed edges from the node S to the node I, because each tail fill could、uh, store at most m replicas. Since the global profit can only be accumulated once, the first directed edge from S to I has the profit, and the only edges and other edges have no profit. Uh, there's only one directed edge from any node i to node j, the edge with the profit、uh, vig local. To limit the MSC storage capacity for any MSC node j, there are PM parallel directed uh, uh, edges uh, from j to t with zero weight. A simple directed path SIJT is a is the Equivalently to store tail fill I on M is its origin. K denotes the maximum number of the tail fills on collaboration to man can store. After connecting the weights of the all edges, the original problem is formulated as a K shortest edge disjoint passes problem. Our goal becomes to find the K passes from S to J, such that the total cost of the passes is minimal, and the problem can be solved by the k shortest passes algorithm. A brief worker flow of k algorithm can be described as construct the graph J as mentioned above, compute the shortest path P from S to T, reverse the direction of all edges in P. And connecting、uh, their weights, repeat step、uh, two and、uh, three, k minus one times. The worst、uh, complexity of the original KSP is uh, uh, k times m times n, which means it can't handle the situation where n becomes、uh, larger. Below, we will introduce some optimization can significantly reduce the time complexity. Optimization one: Use ordered arrays to maintain the shortest distance from the source node S to every、uh, layer three node. Assume in the argumenting passes finding process, the passes endpoint is S. And it needs to go forward two edges to reach M is in order J. There are two impossible passes, and if we check every tail node, the time complexity is O M. However, the path will eventually select the two edges with the highest profit. It doesn't matter which the first two edges are chosen. The passes endpoint always becomes node J, and node J becomes a visited M is in node, and This node set, and this node set will no longer be chosen. In this case, it's better to pick up, to pick the two edges that will generate the maximum profit. For details, see the initialize possible passes and the maintain pass array in paper. Optimization two: Use the priority queues to maintain the shortest distance between the layer three nodes. Assuming in the Augmenting path fund, fund, funding process. The passes endpoint is M is node J, and is and ready to transfer to M is node K. Multiple trans transcend nodes may be available for transcend, and time complexity will be O N if all tail nodes are need need to be checked. But can be proved that、uh, passes、uh, will eventually. Choose the transcend node with the minimal transfer loss, transfer loss, because no matter which transcend node is selected, the passes and the point always become M is node K. M is node K becomes a visited M is node, and this edge set will no longer be chosen. In this case, it's better to pick the transcend node that will cause cause the minimum transfer loss. For details, see maintenance cues in paper. 
After above optimization, the tail nodes of the layer two are hidden, and the original graph can be transformed into a new graph with the number of nodes m plus two. In the theorem four, we prove that the total length of k shortest passes calculated by the OKSP algorithm is equal to is equal to the KSP algorithm. The total time complexity is uh, open parenthesis k times m plus n closed parenthesis times m times log n. We set the experimental parameters according to the values in the following table. We use the Average request latency optimization in the collaboration domain as a metric. We compare the OKSP algorithm with distributed self top and the mixed core algorithm. In this section, we will evaluate the speed of our OKSP algorithm. We perform a speed comparison experiment of the OKSP and mixed core. We can see the runtime for OKSP trend tend to increase linearly with the increasing storage space, whereas the runtime for the mixed code tend to grow exponentially. Applying the mixed code algorithm in a practical large scale data environment is unrealistic. In this paper, in this part, we study the effect of the system parameters on the performance of the above four catching algorithm. The mixed code doesn't apply to the large scale Data. So we first test small-scale data and then remove the mixed code and test large-scale data. For this picture, the ARL optimization of all catching algorithm increases as the storage space increases. Because by, because by increasing the storage space, more tails can be catched in the MEC collaboration domain, preventing more requests from being sent to the cloud. For this picture, Due to scattering of the popular tails and the, or, the different popular tails on each MEC server, the self-top algorithm performs poorly. Uh, as the alpha increases, the popular tails become more concentrated. That is to say, a small number of the tails occupies the most requested traffic. Thus, the collaboration domain catching of this tails can bring good profit. As we continue to increase alpha, despite the overall latency savings, the number of the requests per tail increases, eventually showing a decrease in ARL optimization. In the left picture, each MEC's popularity is similar, while the right picture, each MEC's overall popularity is entirely wider. Under different popularity distribution scenarios, the self-top and distributed performs very differently. Uh, in contrast, the popularity distribution doesn't limit the performance of the OKSP algorithm, and it can keep steady. Steady. The last picture presents a phenomenon similar to the per experiment under small-scale data. In general, the OKSP algorithm consistently performs better than other algorithms. To the end, we described a multi-MEC cooperative network architecture and provide a reliable transmission mechanism. For the large-scale tail catching problem, we analyzed the catching profit of the tail number on the cooperative architecture and equivalently rebuilt the tail catching problem into the k-shortest problem. Due to the high time high time complexity of the K original K shortest pass algorithm in our case, we proposed an optimized 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 K shortest pass algorithm with lower time complexity. Thank you for listening.